versus rotational motion. We know that when something, some object that moves uh, in a straight line, so that is a linear motion, right? So suppose we have this box and this box of mass m, right? We apply a force f and this is moving along a straight line x axis. So this is a linear motion, right? And rotational motion means when something uh, is uh, uh, rotating, right? Something, for example, a wheel on the ground, right? So this is the ground and this is the wheel having some radius r, mass of the wheel is uh, m. Right? So here we talk about the linear velocity v, here we talk about the angular velocity omega. Okay? So v is the linear, linear velocity and omega is the angular velocity. Now how the linear velocity is related to the angular velocity? So we know, right, v is equal to omega times r, right? How the linear velocity is related to the angular velocity? V is equal to omega into r. So this is the first relation. Second formula we can use, we know that we apply a force F on mass M, right? So this is formula number one. Formula number two, so force is equal to mass times linear acceleration, right? So mass is accelerating with an acceleration A. It is accelerating with an acceleration A. So F is equal to mass times A. But in the rotational motion, rotational motion, I applied a torque, right? So I applied a torque. So torque on the wheel, which is represented by tau, so that will be equal to, I told you, mass in the linear motion is replaced by moment of inertia in the rotational motion. Okay, Michaela L1, pay attention. Right, so now force is replaced by torque. Force is replaced by torque and mass is replaced by moment of inertia I. Force is replaced by torque, force in the linear motion, torque in the rotational motion. Mass in the linear motion, moment of inertia in the rotational motion. Linear acceleration, linear acceleration in the linear motion and angular acceleration alpha in the rotational motion, okay? So this A, right, this is linear acceleration, linear acceleration and this alpha, alpha is the angular acceleration, angular acceleration. Now, what is the relation between linear acceleration and angular acceleration, right? So, we can make a relation between the linear acceleration. Linear acceleration A is equal to, same formula like we use V is equal to mega times R. So, velocity is equal to, linear velocity is equal to angular velocity times radius. So, this is a linear acceleration is equal to angular acceleration alpha times radius. Clear? The formulas they are matching, right? Like we use a uh, uh, linear velocity is equal to angular velocity time radius. So here we use linear acceleration is equal to angular acceleration time radius. Okay. So this is my formula number one, two, three, and this is my formula number four. So force in the linear motion and torque in the rotational motion. Mass in the linear motion, moment of inertia in the rotational motion. Linear acceleration in the linear motion and angular acceleration in the uh, angular motion, right? One more formula, force, sorry, work. When I apply a force F on a mass M, so the question is how much work I did on this mass M? How much work I did? When I apply a force F on a mass M, that produces some acceleration, that produces some velocity, right? So how much work uh, I did and that is a very uh, famous formula 
work is equal to force time displacement, right? So I apply the force M on this mass M, right? And then finally, the mass is displaced by this distance S. So now the mass is here. So work is equal to force time displacement in the linear motion. Now, how to check the work in the rotational motion, okay? So, for example, for example, we have this wheel, we have this wheel, Okay, so, okay, so when we move something, suppose uh, I have uh, this uh, marker, so if I apply a force F, so I did some work, how I can calculate that work, just a multiplication of the force I applied and the displacement, okay, the, the force I applied and the displacement, right, but uh, how to check the work in the rotational motion? Now you see, right? I apply a force, okay? Suppose I apply a force here, right? You must have seen the children moving the street and they are moving the wheel, okay? So they are moving with a stick, okay? They are moving. So what they are doing? They are applying a force, right? They are applying a force. So that force uh, that provides a torque, okay? That force provides a torque. Now, how to calculate work? Means I did some work to rotate this wheel, right? How to check that work? Right. So now this is the question: How to check the uh, work in the rotational motion? So that's the question uh, we are going to study today. Right. So again, let me take the wheel. So, so the question is: uh, Work done. Work done in the rotational motion. Work. Work done. In rotational motion. We know work done in the linear motion. That's simply W is equal to force time displacement. So let us apply a force F on this wheel, right? This is the force F on the wheel and uh, the duration of the force. You see, when I just move the wheel, so I apply the force for a very small time delta T. The force is applied for a small time delta T. Okay, at some point, suppose this is the point where I apply the force and this is radius. Okay, and this is the point. So when I apply the force, so this point shifted from this position to this position. Okay, la, clear? Yes, okay, so when I apply the force, okay, let me show the force exactly at this point. So when I apply the force over this point, so this point shifted from this point to this point, so it means when this is shifted, so it means uh, the angle is delta theta, okay, the rotation of this point, rotation of this point, from here to here in this time delta t right and this this distance suppose this is a delta s okay actually this is arc this is arc okay so angle is delta theta i apply a force f on the point and the point shifted from here to here okay in delta t so this uh, uh, distance is delta s and the angle is delta theta okay so now how we can calculate the work? So we know work is equal to F dot S. Okay, work is equal to F dot S. So now I will check this uh, S. I can change the S by delta S. Okay, delta S. Now I will calculate this delta S. So we know angle is equal to delta theta. Angle is equal to arc upon radius. Arc is delta S and radius is R. Okay. This angle is equal to R upon radius. So now I can calculate delta S. So delta S that will be equal to R into delta theta. Now I will substitute this value of delta S. Okay. So now work done in the rotational motion. Okay. Work done in the rotational motion that will be equal to force times R. R into delta theta. Clear? What is this F into R? This is torque. 
torque is equal to force multiply perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the point of application okay so this is the axis of rotation the wheel is moving along this is the axis of rotation i apply the force s force here okay this is the axis of rotation i apply the force here so due to that force it get the rotation of motion okay so now what is the torque force multiply the perpendicular distance the perpendicular distance is the radius okay the perpendicular distance the, so it means uh, the force and this perpendicular distance are actually this is torque so work done in the rotational motion that will be equal to torque time delta theta so this is the formula to calculate work done in the rotational motion so when i push or pull any any object on a horizontal surface then i did a work so that work is simply the product of force times displacement but when we when we uh, rotate a wheel okay when the wheel is moving on the road so we apply a force f force sometime delta t in that delta t the point of application where we apply the force that shifted to the new position by making an angle delta theta by doing this uh, uh, displacement delta s so now again by applying the same formula work is equal to force times displacement uh, and displacement that will be replaced by r dot delta theta so finally we get the work done in terms of torque okay work done in terms of torque now how to calculate how much power i deliver to the wheel in that small time delta t okay you see there is no time when we are calculating the work when we are calculating work in the mechanics we are not concerned with the time okay i applied the force it may be in for nanosecond it may be for attosecond it may be for second we are not concerned with the time when we are calculating the work right now we are interested in calculation of power how much power i deliver to the wheel when we talk about the power then we have to take the a uh, time also right so now i apply a force f for a time delta t now i am interested how much power i deliver to the wheel how much power i deliver to the wheel simply right so the formula number this is actually 5 so formula number 6 formula number 6 how much power i deliver to the wheel in time delta t so power delivered to the wheel that will be equal to work divided by time this is power so power that will be equal to work work is tau means torque into torque into delta theta and time is delta t time is a delta t so this is the power delivered to the wheel or you can say the power delivered to the wheel or the power which do the rotational motion that is equal to torque sorry that is equal to work upon time work is torque time delta theta divided by time is delta t now what is this delta theta upon delta t that is also very important for us what is this term this delta theta upon delta t delta theta upon delta t this term delta theta upon delta t so in time delta t the point of application is shifted by angle delta theta so right if i say if i say i apply a force this is a mass m i apply a force f and this mass is shifted from point a to point b okay and this is the displacement s so what is the speed right and in time t suppose if this happens so linear speed that is equal to distance upon time this is a linear speed right linear speed that is equal to linear distance divided by time now the point of application that is shifted by delta theta so it's a an angular displacement this is a linear displacement okay this is a linear displacement that's why the speed is linear so it's a linear displacement right point a and b they are on a line so it's a linear displacement but when something moves on a curve when something move on the circle so that is a an angular displacement okay so now angular displacement upon time we can now L1 this is 
Delta theta is angular displacement. Angular displacement. Angular displacement and divided by time. Divided by time. So it means angular displacement divided by time, we will get the angular velocity. Okay, angular velocity. So now the power delivered to the wheel, that is torque time, angular velocity, uh, here in the book it is written as omega. Okay, so omega, right? So now the second formula for the power delivered to the wheel, actually that is a product of torque times omega. Omega is the angular velocity. So this omega is the angular velocity. Okay, so actually this, this lesson focuses more on the work. Work in the linear motion, that's simply the product of force times displacement. When we push or pull something on a horizontal surface, right, so the work can be calculated by this formula, force times displacement. But when something is doing rotational motion, how to calculate the work? So in the rotational motion, the work is the product of torque times uh, rotational displacement or angular displacement. Torque time angular displacement. Okay, torque time angular displacement. How much uh, angular displacement is there in a time delta t? But there is no time in the work. You see here also in the work, whether the work is in the linear motion or in the rotational motion, there is no, uh, there, there is no uh, concept of time. But when we calculate the power, how much power I deliver to the wheel in that delta t time. So power that simply that work upon time. Work we know that is tau into delta theta and time is delta t. So delta theta upon delta t that is actually angular velocity. Okay. So the v the point of application that is doing angular motion and that is delta theta upon delta s. Sorry. Delta theta upon delta t. Okay. Angular displacement divided by time that becomes angular velocity. So this is angular velocity. Okay. Mr. So this is the basic, okay?